the war is done, my task is finally through. But oh, please, Mom, there's something great that I must ask of you. I have a friend, oh, such a friend, he has no home, you see. And so, dear Mom, I'd really like to bring him home with me. Dear son, we don't really mind if someone comes home with you. I'm sure he could stay with us perhaps a week or two. Dear Mom, there's something you must know. Now please don't be alarmed. My friend in the battle recently was hurt and lost an arm. Dear son, don't be afraid to bring him home with you. Your friend can stay and visit for maybe a day or two. But mother, he's not just a friend, he's like a brother too. And that's why I want him with us, and like a son to you. And before you give your answer, Mom, I really don't want to beg, but my friend fought in a battle in which he lost his leg. Dear son, it hurts so much to say my answer must be no, for Dad and I have no time for a boy who is crippled so. So months go by, and a letter comes, and it says their son has died. And when they read the cause of death, the shock was suicide. Days later, when the casket came, draped in our country's flag, they saw their son lying there, without an arm or a leg. Jesus.